All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to show you how to use DS4 Windows in order to hook up and get working your PlayStation 5 controller on your Windows PC. Uh, the long story made short is this program pretends that you're using an Xbox controller so that pretty much all the games that are out there have Xbox controller support. So it will work with pretty much anything by just pretending that it's something else. And so to do this, we're going to need to download three different pieces of software in order to get this to work. The first thing we're going to need to download is DS4 Windows, which is made by Ryochan7. If you look this up, and I'll also have the, the links in the video description below, you'll find it down here listed as releases Ryochan7. DS4 Windows on GitHub. Ignore the first result. I don't know who makes this website. Um, they're not the, the developer, they're just someone else. And this third website is supposedly a fan website, but always go directly to the source whenever possible, especially when it's open source drivers. So we're gonna open up the releases Ryochan 7 here. And here on the page, we're gonna want to grab 64-bit edition because most people should be running 64-bit on their computer. If you're not, you should get on that because you can't use enough RAM for most modern games otherwise. And I'm just going to grab either the x64 zip or the x64 7 zip. If you have 7 zip, great. If not, just grab the regular zip file. I, I'm assuming you know how to handle those. We're just going to click on that and just make sure to save it to whatever folder. I've got it downloaded already to this controller downloads folder. And then you're also going to want to download and install the .NET 8 desktop runtime. .NET is basically just this little applications framework that Microsoft releases for free and allows developers to make stuff exactly like this. So you're going to want to click on that, which will take you to the .NET website. Go ahead and download that as well. And then the last thing that we're going to need is Vision Bus. And Vision Bus is just an interfacing software that's made by Nefarious that allows you to talk to controllers of all varieties. They all run mostly off of the same technology. So we're going to go ahead and grab that one as well. Once you've got all of that stuff, we're going to open up our little folder here. I'm going to delete the duplicate Vision Bus. And you're just going to want to go through and make sure that you've got these installed. It should only take you a moment. I've already got them installed, so I don't really need to go through this twice. But make sure you've got the runtime installed, Vision Bus installed, and then we'll go on to the next step, which is to extract DS4 Windows to its own folder. I like to keep it in a folder of the same name because a lot of these programs have just got a bunch of stuff and you don't want this scrambled out all over your desktop. But put this wherever it's convenient for you because you're going to need to be reopening DS4 Windows whenever you want to use a controller so it can function as a driver. And once you've got this bad boy open, you should see a whole bunch of different icons. It's a little confusing, but the one that you want is right here in the middle called DS4 Windows. And that's the one that you're going to want to double click on in order to run the application. Now, before we go any further, just because it helps to support the channel, I am an affiliate for NordVPN. If you're looking for a VPN that'll help keep your computer and your internet connection private and secure, I totally recommend NordVPN. It helps prevent people from snooping on your internet traffic, especially if you go out and you use your laptop on public Wi-Fi sources. It's got a built-in ad blocker. You can easily connect from anywhere to a, there are dozens and hundreds of servers from around the globe. And it's also got built-in protections, sort of like an ad blocker or a, a virus protection software to help keep nasty stuff off of your computer. So if you're looking for one, I have a discount code built into a URL in the video description below. It helps to support the channel if you're in the market for a VPN. So with that out of the way, we're going to go ahead and click on DS4 Windows. And if it's working correctly and you have the .NET framework properly installed, it will pop up a little pop-up like this that'll ask you where you want it to save all of your preferences and your settings. I always have it save my preferences inside of the program folder with the actual software itself. 
That way, if anything goes wrong, I can easily delete it so that it doesn't cause problems and reinstall PS4 Windows from scratch without having to go manually uninstall stuff. Um, but you can also put it in the app data folder. I always just recommend putting it in the program folder. And then after that, if that works out all right, it should pop up this device support checklist to ask you what controller do you want to use the software for? It can do things like PlayStation controllers, PlayStation 5, Switch Pro controllers, Joy-Cons, and PlayStation 3 controllers. But to prevent things from conflicting and breaking, only one of these supports is turned on by default, which is PlayStation 4. But because I'm going to be hooking up a PlayStation 5 controller, I'm going to uncheck this, and instead I'm going to check the DualSense device support, which is the PlayStation 5 controller, and then I'm going to click Close. And then, with that out of the way, DS4 Windows will fully pop open, and it's ready for me to plug in my controller. If it was already plugged in, this should have popped open, and it should have already detected the device. So I'm going to pop in my controller plug, and it should pop up on this little list here. And if it's the first time you've plugged in this controller, you should hear like a bunch of beeps and boops as it's like, hey, we've got a new controller. What do you want to do with that? And then, and so at this point, I should be done and good to go. Windows should register this as an Xbox controller, and I'll be able to play whatever game with default bindings just fine. If for whatever reason your controller is not showing up here, you can also try connecting it via Bluetooth. You can connect it via plug or Bluetooth. It, either one will work just fine. Um, sometimes if it's not behaving itself on one connection type, you might try the other. Um, I'll have a video guide for how to connect this via Bluetooth as like a secondary tutorial just to keep this short. But you can connect it with either one just fine. Um, if that's still not working and it still isn't showing up, you can flip the controller over and you might notice next to the Sony logo off to the right, there's a little round hole. You want the one that's off to the right. The other one's a speaker, but the one off to the right, there's a button in there. If you press and hold on that button with like a pin or a paperclip for a count of 12, it'll factory reset your controller so it's not trying to connect to some PlayStation 5 console somewhere, and that might help you connect to DS4 Windows a little bit better. The other thing to make sure of is that this starts running. Sometimes when you open this up for the first time, it starts in paused mode. To start it, just click the start button in the lower right hand corner, and that should fix some problems. I don't know why it starts up that way sometimes, but it does. Um, and that should cover most of it. If you ever find yourself needing to change what device is currently uh, supported, you can just click on the settings tab at the top of the window, go to device options, and then you can change which things are currently enabled right here in this little checklist, and then exit. And then if you want, you can also change like the color of the, the light on your controller on the front by clicking on this little light bar here. And you can use like a custom color to denote like, oh, I want pink or something. Or like, I want a green. And then you should be able to look down and be like, oh, there's the green. Cool. Um, and that, that should be pretty much it for most people. Um, unfortunately, because this is currently emulating an Xbox controller, it's going to show Xbox controls on screen. Most games only support Xbox controllers. So even if we told them that you're using a PlayStation controller, which would probably break it so you wouldn't be able to use it at all, um, it would still not be able to show you PlayStation controls. But if you know that the game you have does sort of support PlayStation controllers, you can tell it that this is a PlayStation controller by going to edit. This will edit the current settings profile, which is the default profile. And if you go to other here, you can select the emulator, emulate a DualShock 4 controller, and then click save at the top of this little box. Now it'll think you've got a PlayStation controller. However, that sometimes breaks support for a lot of different games. So if you're having trouble after you did this, go back to edit, go back to other, and tell it it's an Xbox 360 controller again, because that's more reliable, and I recommend that.
Um, and if you're on the fence about buying a PlayStation 5 controller or like an Xbox controller for your PC, buy an Xbox controller. Save yourself so much time and headache. I have one for this very reason, because even though I make these tutorials, it's a pain in the butt and this solves so many problems. So anyway, I hope you found that helpful. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will catch you next time. Um, the other thing, if this is still misbehaving itself, is you can also try and restart your computer or run this as admin. But that's about all I can recommend. So, hope you found that helpful. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.